Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of After 5 Outdoors. Today, I'm going to change oil on my 2017 Honda 200 horsepower four-stroke. So this is on a uh, 2017-1925 Flex Sport Kingfisher, and this motor has been pretty good. I change oil on it generally once a year. There's not a lot of videos on it on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one and show you guys how to do it. So I apologize for some of the traffic noise that's going to be driving by, just doing this in my driveway. This is a messy job, so first thing I do is I suggest is I put uh, put down some cardboard in your oil pan and uh, you know just try to, because this oil comes shooting out of here. So first things first, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a flathead screwdriver. So right here, this is the, the oil plug cover. You just unscrew that. All right, this is act actually gonna, don't lose your screw either, it's gonna fall out. I'll set that right there. You'll actually be using this as a, uh, like a drip, drip pan or a drip uh, spout. It's gonna keep the oil from totally running down on your lower unit and the rest of your motor. And if it does, you just take some brake cleaner and spray it off. So next thing you're gonna need is a 6.12 millimeter socket on a ratchet. Loosen it up. Now this is going to be the messy part. This oil really comes out of here with force. So you gotta kinda guess about where it's gonna land. This is the part I don't really like. You can see that oil really comes out of there. So that's where your cardboard really helps. And I just followed along with my drain pan. As you can see now, the oil is starting to hit this uh, little uh, lid here. And it's still going to hit. This is where the messy part comes in. So it's almost impossible to change oil on these without making a mess. Okay, now that since your oil is slowed down, uh, here are the main oil plug. You want to trim your motor up. So as you see, there'll be some more oil that'll run out. There's different uh, like pockets almost, whatever, throughout the motor where there's going to be some oil left. So you're going to lift your motor all the way up till it quits draining out, and then you'll tilt your motor back down. So I'm going to let this finish draining, and then we'll get to the oil filter. Okay, through the miracle of time, all the oil is stopped basically dripping out of the drain plug. It's just a very, very small drip now, just kind of the remnants that are running out. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take off your uh, cover on your motor, I'll show you how to do that, and then take off your oil filter. And there's kind of a little trick to not having such a mess as I have here. So you got your release right here, you pull it out, and your cowling or your motor cover will pop up a little bit. Lift it straight up. Take it off. Move that to the side. Your oil filter will be located right here. And sometimes you can get it off by hand. This time I'm not going to be able to. So you're going to want to use a filter wrench. And basically just get it so it's you break that seal all right now it's basically finger tight tape a take a ziploc bag and this is actually a pretty handy trick but just put this over the oil filter there's a little lip right below the oil filter spin off your filter And I always leave my plug open when I do this too. Sometimes like in a vehicle and stuff, there's a little bit of oil that comes out of the plug when you take the filter off. I don't know if it's like a relief of pressure, but you can, you probably can't see, but the oil that runs out of the filter will run into the bag and not all over your motor. And this is kind of a long winded fella, so. Let's 
spin that off and you take your bag and your filter just drop it in there and no mess now you'll have just a little bit of oil left on the lip paper towels you can sop that up I like to clean the the metal where it contacts with the filter and the kind of the mating surface there now your filter the specific filter that I generally use is a Wix filter and the number on this one is five seven three five six I'll put that in the description you want to take just a little bit of oil I like to dump a little bit of oil in the filter, just a little bit, just to kind of get it. And then I'll just get a splash on the inside of the filter and get some oil on that gasket. Just a light film and spin her on. And it'll be snug and I like to go about three quarters of a turn. It's nice. If you don't write your filter number down or you forget it, whatever, it's nice to have it just enough where you can see the filter number that sticks out on the outside. All right, the majority of the messy stuff is over. Before you put your drain plug back in, just take a look at it. Make sure there's no shavings on it. Just wipe off that oil that's on there. And just put her back in. Make sure that's tight. And I'll just actually wipe this up just a little bit. I'll take that off. Then I'll have some oil left on it, so just let that sit and drain. All right, now we're ready to add some oil. All right, so when I'm doing my oil changes on my Honda, I like to use just the regular Honda oil. This is the 1030 Marine Oil. You can get away with Yama Lube or, you know, that other stuff probably too, but I, I really like to use just the regular manufacturer recommended oil in this motor. So now one thing that, that Honda did make a pretty kind of a dumb error, I'll show you. The filling area where you dump your oil in, it's not at a very steep angle. It would, it would take so much less time if they would have just tilted that up just a hair. Because even with the, with the boat on the trailer, with the nose all the way down and it trimmed all the way down, you still can't get it enough where you can dump it in by hand. So you got to use a pump or a big funnel or a small funnel, but even a funnel is kind of a pain. So I just have to use a pump. It takes me 10 times as long to put the oil in. And 10 times the mess. So after every quart, you got to take the cap off the other one, make sure all the oil is out of the tube so it doesn't drain all over the place, which is going to do anyway. It's just, see, stuff like that. It's just, uh, it's just ridiculous that they couldn't have just made that angle just a little bit steeper and you could have dumped it right in. All right, so eight quarts later. Now there's not a lot of, uh, you don't have the owner's manual it's really hard to get the specs for these motors i'm just going to leave this in here um you know oil capacities and all that stuff but the capacity is eight quarts when you get an oil change kit it gets nine quarts and i'm not sure why so just to double check i called the dealership and said you know told them what i was doing and changing my own oil and they said yeah the capacity is at, at, at eight quarts so i'm just trying to get all this oil out of this pump all right, so you save a bunch of money by changing your own oil because if you go to a dealer, their uh, going rate, around here anyway, is about 100 bucks an hour. So, you know, and usually your your uh, you know, your oil prices increased a little bit and, and labor, it gets kind of expensive. It's, it's simple to do if you have the space to do it. You don't need a lot of tools or a lot of knowledge. I've owned this uh, motor, I've owned this boat and motor for uh, four years change oil on it every year myself not that hard just gets to be kind of messy 
So basically all there is left to do, put that cover back on and I'll put the screw back in. What you'll want to do is you'll want to run the motor just a little bit and then check your oil level. So I'm going to take care of that stuff, but really appreciate you watching this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, let me know in the comments and please hit that thumbs up. Hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors. We'll see you on the next one.